my dear friends I am very very lucky and you are very lucky because today I invite you to get new wonderful experience in the business center of Moscow Moscow City just have a look oh it's not so easy to <laughs> to shoot a video here every modern capital has such a wonderful center from glass and stone nowadays and Moscow is not the exception and just have a look at this I don't know how to, how to do it how to film it all because it's so great but I'm going to have a, a little walk here and uh, I will try to do my best to shoot a video for you today we are exploring the Moscow city business district from below and from above I can deny that I'm crazy a little bit but watch my video till the end and I will show you Moscow from from the top of this building from 85th store let's start hello my dear viewers this is Marina again channel made in Ruslan and uh, what are we going to do today somebody wrote me in comments that Russian people live a poor full of misery life and how look where am I today? This is a Moscow business center, Moscow city. And I want to show you how Russians live. Only the truth. Only the truth. Trust me, dear. What's located here? Of course, a great deal of uh, different business centers of lots of companies and uh, many many cafes and shops and uh, and even even exclusive very expensive apartments but if you have money you can buy apartments somewhere there on the top of this orange building guys are you ready to climb the highest viewpoint and the highest restaurant in Europe Three hundred fifty-four meters. This is exclusive height. And the main slogan of this restaurant is "Only love is higher." This is the highest restaurant in Moscow. You see, the floor is R R <laughs> after eighty-five. Everything is so wonderful here. It's only 12 o'clock now and the restaurant is empty but all the tables are reserved for big companies, for small companies because the view here, panoramic view to the whole Moscow. Just have a look. Oh my god. Have a look at this design. The design is really extraordinary. You'll never find similar place even in Moscow mm. can you imagine 85th floor oh my god and what I see Moscow River This is the restaurant of a Russian cuisine, uh, including some. Uh, have a look. Oh, that's a re reflection. But um, 
you may be sure it's a crab inside including different regions the cuisines of different regions of, of Russia and again waiting yeah, I mentioned that uh, this restaurant is typical traditional Russian and do you see some of our and canned traditional canned Russian food and this is what this is sushki it's a kind of dry bread very very delicious and of course Russian vodka and and you know big sushki are bubliki <laughs> now you know Russian and a lot of pies Russian pies and Russian bread Karavai Every time my foreign friends come to Moscow I invite them to visit this wonderful place with traditional Russian stove Just have a look Traditional Russian stove and the whole Moscow 382 meters the height of this 85th floor uh, this is how Russian house old Russian house is bar looked like an open kitchen the kitchen here is perfect, you know, really perfect. I've ordered already uh, some food, I will show you. And uh, now, let's see this picturesque, amazing views. Oh my Moscow, I love this city love on the height the name of this uh, restaurant is Ruski you know it already <gasps> let's have a look a little bit uh, something very interesting it's maybe for, for, for garnish or for salad I don't know exactly uh, next bar with Matryoshka, traditional Russian doll. Here is empty, empty Matryoshkas, but... But usually you may find more and more Matryoshkas inside this doll. Smaller and smaller each one. A Russian doll again. If you follow healthy style of life, so you may use these micro greens. And dishes are uh, natural, wooden. Many, 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 many samovars. They use it in uh, in service uh, for customers. So I, I didn't order. Uh, tea in some of our I don't like tea I ordered coffee and uh, have a look traditional Russian scarf very very beautiful so guys I'm really amazed I love this place and uh, let's have a look what's here another another hole there are four holes here it's empty for now. But the view is, 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 I don't know what to say. Mm, 
it seems to me I can see the whole city of Moscow. It's giant city. Overwhelming view. And even these enormous buildings of Moscow Business Center are small. They look small because we are so high now. I am thrilled, really. Wow, and have a look. It's snack. What's for snack? It's black caviar, guys. <laughs> Everything here is very, very special. What am I going to show you right now? Unique ice bar. Yes. The only ice bar here on such a height. Have a look. Its name is Onegin. And what's inside? Let's have a look. Yeah, just a moment, I will show you ice bar. But first of all, this is equipment for making uh, samogon. Samogon is a handmade Russian alcohol drink. It's, uh, I think, 60 degrees. <laughs> strong, strong, strong alcohol. But what about what about ice bar? First of all, before visiting ice bar, you have to wear fur coat. You may choose a fur coat and a hat. It's included in price. I hope so. <gasps> I'm not a fan of uh, furs. Uh, really, I'm not a fan of furs. I love coats, but it looks amazing. So, guys, if you feel hot and you want to cool a little bit, you may order visiting of this ice room. All you see is made, is made uh, of, from ice. And uh, here is a special menu, of course, vodka and caviar. Spend here the eternity watching this infinity. I'm here with my uh, friend's daughter, and every kid gets such candy um, sweet cockerel. Oh, my dear viewers, just have a look at what I've ordered. Uh, traditional, traditional. The most popular word today is traditional. Traditional Russian soup, she, with sour cream and pie. She with the uh, mushrooms. I know, my dear, my dear viewers, that all of you are interested in prices in this in this extraordinary place extraordinary restaurant so uh, you see Balam she with the porcini mushrooms costs 530 rubles it's about seven dollars yes our ancestors recipe created about 1000 years ago ah oh, cool She is to my liking. It's with the mushrooms and with the freshly baked bright bread. Traditional Russian style. My young friend Alice has ordered chicken noodle soup in traditional Russian style and milkshake. Kusna, tasty. Yes. I want you to explore this uh, unbelievable uh, menu with me. For example, you may try here yam beetroot with fresh cheese and tarragon. Um, 830 rubles. About 10 dollars. 
or kvas okroshka. Now you know okroshka, yes? Here is the link to my video where I cook akroshka. Oh, truffle fragrance infused young cabbage with nutty sour cream. Oh my god. Um, 470 rubles. And the dish with the name Birch Tree. I don't know what is this, but it's 110 grams, 570 rubles. As a main dish, I'll get pelmeni with zander with caviar sauce, 870. So uh, if you want to know prices in dollars, you have to divide all prices by 80. <coughs> Mm -hmm. This is what? Mm -hmm. My pelmeni is coming. Have a look. Black pelmeni. Black pelmeni. Oh my god. With caviar. Guys, guys, I'm ready to cry because this black pelmeni with wonderful fish in cream sauce with micro greens and caviar is the best food in the world. Wow, all the beauty and greatness of our wonderful capital, Russian capital, Moscow, can be seen in full view here. And all the nearby districts of Moscow. Wonderful view. Oh, and have a look at this wonderful, wonderful dishes. What this I don't know. I have no ideas. But looks looks wonderful, really. The restaurant of traditional Russian cuisine. Wow, my mouth is watering, watering, and watering. Though I don't drink vodka, it's a snack for vodka, you know, guys. Mm. Yeah, and Russian traditional pies as well. And just have a look. This is what again she and and pelmeni. I adore Russian cuisine, you know? Everything is and baked potato. Oh my god, what a surprise, my friend Natasha from Murmansk. Do you remember her? She's late as usual for two hours. Natasha, da -da -da -dum, da -dum. do you know what is this? Amazing name of this cake is. Valam cheesecake made in the Russian stove. Can you imagine, my dear viewers, a Russian stove and cheesecake? 530 rubles. And finally, 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 Natasha has Russian traditional soup borsh. Yeah, looks great. And, um, and special bread, pampushka. And and fat, fat, and and garlic and sour cream. Everything is traditional. Mm. Though I'm full already, I feel hungry again <laughs> because Natasha can eat with great pleasure. <laughs> And everybody wants to eat again with her. <laughs> yes, this is real Russian fat. <laughs> it is strictly forbidden for me to come in this ice room because, because I don't drink vodka. And this room is only for drugs. That's why. Natasha will do 
because she likes to drink vodka a little bit. Wow. Oh, what's going on here? Natasha is wearing traditional fur Russian costume. Kakoshnik, kakoshnik. Kakoshnik, пока помирьте, пожалуйста. Yes. Yes. I'm voting for for this. I'm voting for this. <laughs> because this is for men. This is for for wonderful, beautiful Russian girls. Russian, Russian, Russian girls. Baby, give me, give me only love. <laughs> It's something new. I've never seen you like this drinking uh, drinking vodka. <laughs> too big for you, too big. You know, I have my dear viewers. It's old Russian tradition to drink vodka with caviar in a special ice bar, ice room, wearing national costume. As I mentioned before, I can't come in. And what temperature is there inside? Minus 15, minus 15, like in Murmansk in winter. Because Natasha is from Murmansk and it's the capital of Arctic. She is used to, uh, to live in cold climate. And this is our barman. Uh, oh my god, no! <laughs> like a hooligan. Uh, not me, not me, not me. No? <laughs> I want to give my camera to our barman and he will shoot a video for you, okay? This is our check for today's dinner. Approximately $80 for two people and one child. Not much for this highest restaurant in Europe. Do you remember, my dear viewers, I told you about Russian samovar. So this is how it looks. And if you order tea in this samovar, herbal tea, for example, you'll get a plate of of handmade cakes it's great it's time for dinner and i see more and more russians are coming with families with the kids to have a great great experience uh, to admire our wonderful Moscow mm, guys and here is the link to my best videos about about 
Russian countryside. And if you are not far in the center, not far from Kremlin, so you may see this Moscow business center. Eh? Have a look. Yes, it's raining now, but Moscow is beautiful in any weather.